Hello, welcome to episode 8 of Repton 2 Memories. And we're going to teleport to level 14 here. And it took me ages to work out this puzzle, this section. So you have to start by going in on the bottom row of dirt, then clear out the next row of dirt only as far as the double row of boulders. And then shuffle left, and then left again. And they fall nicely into place so that I can get out. So maybe any other way of doing that would result in a rock being left over and trapping you in that area. So just on to another part of level 14. Now all that stuff above is completely separate separate from this visit to level 14. I'll be doing that later. And this area at the bottom was kind of tacked on because Repton 3's levels are smaller than Repton 2 allows for. So this bit is all new. Back to level one, uh, carry on with the episode because I'm in a sort of unusual area of it, of, of the level. So I just need to deal with that monster and then get out of here. So that rock has kind of trapped me up here. But that teleporter gets me out again. So I've been saving that deliberately for this reason. And now this really is the final visit to level 8. Bit of an unnecessary save there. It's quite simple here. Do have to wait for the second spirit to go round again. And now I'm back in the area where I started level 8 a few episodes ago. So it takes a little bit of working out the sequence to do all those levels in. And here, first I have to push that rock there so it doesn't block me in. Then don't get that diamond yet, just lower that rock there, which gives space for the spirit to come out. So just teleport it to another part of the same level. Again, I remember this from Repton 3, so I've given myself a few seconds between the spirits here so that when the first one gets that cage nearest me, I can quickly nip up there and get the diamond before the other spirit comes round. Then let it go through, and it's already set up nicely for it to get the next cage. You can see a little above me on the left. And that rock I just dropped comes in very handy a bit later on to kill the monster in the near the bottom right of the level. I'm going in here as I'm trapped in, but I've also pushed that rock sort of shut the door behind me, just saves a second or two waiting for the spirit when it goes round that way. The spirit that you'll see shortly. And you also just saw the cage that I want it to get. So it mustn't go 
through the, uh, there yet by the cage until I can get rid of it as a diamond. Yeah, it's reasonably obvious you have to drop the rock where the diamond was, not let it roll off. Let the spirit out. There's a few more bits in here while I'm waiting for the cage to go. Why didn't I get a bit of dirt? If I was in there anyway, it would have saved me going round again later. So you have to make sure you can get back through past all those rocks to get to the teleporter at the end of the level. go back near to where I started to deal with the uh, monster there and a few diamonds and puzzle bits to collect as well and dirt uh, just think about that carefully well there's one diamond there that could easily be neglected I think it must have been a safe earlier little puzzle room has to be done a certain way and now it's just that silly bit of dirt that I missed earlier and the teleporter to get back home so this is level one again but just um, Clearing out a bit more of it. Gradually getting it all done. Probably recognise this bit that I've been past a few times. Now I can move that rock that I dropped in earlier. I was blocking it off.